PK. Uh, here are a few of my distribution. You can try these as well. This is Chrome OS Flex. You are seeing the desktop. It is simple, speedy, and secure operating system. It is new operating system just like Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac OS. It is based on Google Chrome OS, which is pre-installed on the Chromebooks. And Chrome OS itself is based on the Linux. So here is a note. This is early access version. So you might face issues. So we need to download and install following other requirements and considerations. So you can verify if your device is certified. Link is in the description. You should check your device before the install or download. You need Google Chrome browser. You need 4 GB USB or more size. Your device processor should be 64 bit. Its requirement is 4 GB RAM, but I have tested on 2 GB RAM and it worked fine. And you need BIOS access to boot from the USB. You may need 16 GB storage or more size for installing of the operating system. And keep in mind, it would use the whole disk. So back up your data before the start. So here is, here is a point, components that are made before 2010 may not work. So you have 40 minutes or maybe 20 minutes, depending on your internet speed and your computer speed. So following is a USB creation process. You need to install Chromebook recovery utility. Link is in the description. So install and start Chromebook recovery utility from the list of extensions. Here is the icon. It should be on the top bar on the right side. Click there and then choose the recovery utility. And on the start, click get started and select a model from the list. Uh, here is a screenshot. You need to choose Chrome OS Flex and then you need to choose developer unstable. Currently it is unstable, but later on, maybe when you are going to install, it might have a stable version. And you, uh, I have already mentioned, you need to choose Chrome OS Flex and you need to choose Chrome OS Flex developer unstable and click continue. On the next step, you it would, it would ask you the which USB you are going to use. So you should attach the USB before this process and at the end, click on create now. Okay, at that point, you got the one USB from Chrome OS Flex, which you can use for live demonstration or you can use it for installation purpose. It seems the easiest way, but this way is not suitable for multiple USBs. If you want to create multiple USB installations, this is not the good way. And sometimes you create a installation installer for one USB and then later on you use that USB for other purposes and again you need to create installer again. So this is not a good way for this purpose. So what is the best way? for creating multiple USBs or USB creation over time. Okay, this is Linux OS. If you don't know about Linux OS, then you may try to search and install it on your system, or you may try WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux on the Windows. Though I have not 
tried this on WSL, but you may try to do it. So here is the way download the installation image and I will provide the link in the description and click the latest number like there could be 102, 101 or whatever is the latest. You should click that link and download the image file. It The image file would be the zip file. You should unzip it and it might name like Chrome OS, some numbers, Raven recovery, dev channel, or whatever is its name. It is ending on dot bin. I will reference this file as just file dot bin in the coming points. Insert your USB drive. Its size should be 8 GB or more. It will override data. So keep your data backup from the USB and open the command terminal. What is it? You can search and Google it. If you have installed the Linux OS, you can find it in the menus easily. Execute the following command. It would ask you the password, provide it and then press enter key. Following is the command sudo dd if file dot bin of dev sdn bs 4 mb 4 m status progress so this is the command you should use the same command and only the difference is this n uh, i am explaining it here n in sdn above refers to the usb name character whenever you connect usb to the computer in linux it would assign some character to it like b c so it should be sd b sd c or whatever is the usb if there is only one usb in the system then this is sdb so before starting this process you should unattach any other usb so it should be sdb and because this is important it would override any data so now you can create after this command usb is created and you can create multiple usbs or recreate recreate usb as many times as you like using the above command because you have already downloaded the installation media on the disk So following is a process from the USB. So these are the points. First of all, turn off the target device. Insert your Google Chrome OS Flex USB installer and boot from the USB installer by pressing the power button and then begin pressing your device boot key repeatedly. So what is the boot key? It is different on different systems. Like on Acer, it is F2, Asus, there is Dell key. On the Dell system, it is F12, Gateway, HP. These are different keys for different devices. So here is the general sum of the points. I will show you the screenshots of all the points. Let me explore the general advice boot after the boot you can explore live environment or start installation these are the two points live environment is environment where you can check the chrome os flex from the usb it will show the desktop menus everything almost which you can see after the install so you can demonstrate it device components are working wi-fi is working cam is working whatever you want to test so live environment is important then you can start the installation 
it would ask you to connect with WLAN because it would download the things. So you can in start the installation on the login screen or during the boot process. I will show you the screenshots. And again, I am warning you, it will use the whole hard disk. So whatever drives you have, C drive, D drive, data drive, Windows installation, software collection, videos, whatever is on the disk, it would delete everything. So keep your backups. And it would ask you different checkboxes like the terms and conditions, etc. Just follow the instruction. And at the end, it will show you the complete installation message. And then your device would turn off automatically. Then you should remove the installer USB. And then again, switch on the device and start using Chrome OS Flex. Let me show you the screenshots. So this is the initial welcome screen. You should click get started. And here you can start the built-in screen reader if you like. And here you can do two things. Install Chrome OS Flex and try it first. Uh, I suggest you to try it first so it will show you the live environment and you can test your device components like Wi-Fi is working or not. So connect with Wi-Fi, whatever name is your Wi-Fi and provide, provide password. Accept the terms of service and then select you because you are going to use this. Later on, you can add your children accounts and supervise that. Here is the point. You should use your Gmail ID here. Provide the password. And if you have enabled the two-step verification, it, and then you need to verify this. Or you may try other ways to verify your account login. So you can accept the synchronized Chrome device. I normally accept this without any hesitation. If you need Google Assistant, you can try that. On my test, it did not work. And here is your live environment is ready. Just click Get Started. And here is the desktop. So later on, you should test and later on log out from the device. And after the log out, you are seeing this install Chrome OS Flex button. You can trigger the installation from here or from the boot process, which we have seen initially. So <clears throat> click the install Chrome OS Flex and keep in mind this warning again, it, it will erase your entire disk. Click install. It would take 20 minutes or 40 minutes, whatever is that internet speed or your computer 